unemployed have been out of work for more than six months. And that is the highest level of long-term unemployment since the government started keeping track in the 1940s. What could be the next weapon in fighting terrorist attacks is being developed right here in Harrisburg. It's a way to detect explosives before they reach potential targets. Consumer reporter Dennis Buderball is in our ABC 27 newsroom with the details. Dennis. Hi, Val. Right now in the basement of the former AMP headquarters building, researchers are developing a bomb detection system that could be much more effective in saving lives. With the other you can one. tell Dr. Anis Rahman of Applied Research Phototonics in Swatera Township is excited about the technology in this small gray box. That's really very, very high sensitivity. And this sensitivity is um, a result of using this particular radiation the way we use it. The device uses a minute amount of terahertz radiation to search for specific molecules of explosives. Signal of RDX, which is an explosive. Dr. Rahman says applications of his invention could be many. It is so sensitive in detecting explosives, it could even be used in the post office to weed out explosive letters and packages. While current technology in airports uses x-rays and a much less sensitive technology to try and detect explosives, Dr. Rahman says terahertz radiation could detect explosives or people who prepared them at an airport's main doors. If someone is handling this explosive materials, they're very, uh, you know, likely that uh, some trace amount, a very small amount of explosive will be on either on clothes or on the handling material container. So far, only universities have purchased the devices for further research. Dr. Rahman's team has contacted U.S. Senator Bob Casey and others hoping the government We'll see the advantages of detecting terrorist bombs before they reach crowds of people. You have to stop them before they come close where significant damage can be done. And Dr. Rahman says this technology is also small enough and portable enough it could be used by the military for detecting explosives as well. Val? Thank you, Dennis. This